Andrew, I'm going to begin with you, and I cede my right to question here. There's so much, and there's so much in the air. I just want to open your microphone and say go. Sure. Um, well, I'm going to pick up on what you were talking to Rachel about, which is the fact that, at least federally, this is a first for this country and how we should, at least how I think about it. Um, I actually think this is a remarkable and impressive uh, and worthy night for the Justice Department, but more importantly, for the rule of law in this country. Um, when we were here talking about the Bragg indictment, there is a legitimate debate about whether Donald Trump is being treated exactly the way any other defendant would be treated who not named Trump. Um, Alvin Bragg tried to deal with that issue, but there's no question in this case that he is being treated no better or worse than anyone else. And many people would say, he, I know Neil agrees, he would have been indicted long ago if his name um, were not Trump. Um, and the reason that's important is when you're indicting a political figure, it's not enough that you have a strong case. It is also important that the public understand that this is not selective prosecution, that this is not somebody who's singled out, that he's being treated just like anyone else. And there are legions of cases of people who did far less who are in jail because of this kind of conduct. That is what it means to have a rule of law. That is what it means to not have a king, but to have somebody who, if they violate the law, will be treated regardless of their station, or in this case, their former station um, in the government. And so to that extent, this is really a, really a great day for America in terms of upholding that principle. And I know it's not one that we've been through before, but I do think if you step back and think about what this country is supposed to stand for, that is what the Justice Department is really signaling and messaging here, is that everyone will be treated, as Merrick Garland has said, as you know, equally in this country.